students, mainly young women, gathered at a roundabout near the Islamic Assad University in central Tehran to protest. They chanted, we don't want spectators, join us. They demonstrated at risk to their lives. Elsewhere in the Iranian capital, riot police were out in force in a bid to contain anti-government protests. Still in the capital, this amateur video footage shows lawyers fleeing tear gas during a rally outside the Bar Association. Video footage being posted online suggests there's no let-up in anger in cities nationwide, almost one month on from the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. The Kurdish-Iranian woman died following her arrest by the morality police in Tehran for allegedly failing to observe the Islamic Republic's dress code for women. Protests and strikes are going ahead despite internet shutdowns by the authorities and a police crackdown. The group Iran Human Rights is reporting on its website that at least 201 people, including 23 children, have been killed. One political analyst says the Iranian leadership could step up its crackdown. It has mostly used uh, anti-riot police uh, in the past uh, few weeks. Uh, it has not yet deployed the Revolutionary Guards uh, and so it still has uh, a lot of repressive tools uh, up its sleeve that it can use uh, against the movement. This is the biggest wave of social unrest to grip Iran in almost three years. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Wednesday again accused Iran's enemies of stoking what he said were street riots.